Welcome to the first in a series of six videos on the history of the parlors at the College of St. Scholastica. My name is Heidi Johnson, and I am the archivist for the college. In 1907, the Sisters of St. Scholastica Monastery purchased the last 40 acres of land that completed their 160-acre campus. Fortuitously, this last parcel included a vein of gabbro rock or bluestone that was then quarried to build Tower Hall that was also starting to be constructed that year. The first half of Tower Hall was completed in 1909 with students and sisters moving in that fall. Until Tower Hall was completed in 1928 or almost 20 years later, the main entrance was located on the south side of the building with a three-story wooden white porch above it. Tower Hall was originally designed by local architects German and Lignell in the English Tudor style. This architectural style includes crenellated turrets, square arches above the windows, and is similar to the Hampton Court outside of London where Henry VIII, whose last name was Tudor, lived over the years with his six wives. Mother Agnes Summers became prioress and president of our college in 1924. Her first building project was to complete Tower Hall that still only had one tower that had been built in 1920 and looked very much half done. She was an Anglophile and loved British style. She designed especially the new main entrance or foyer to Tower Hall nestled between its completed two towers with exquisite details that feature those characteristics, as well as Benedictine symbolism. In the next parlor chat, we will explore more about the main foyer and its neighboring parlors. Stay tuned. <music>